Hi pupils, our topic for today is all about weathering but let's start our discussion by answering this statement whether it is true or false. The earth's surface has stayed the same for a thousand of years. I will give you three seconds to answer this one. If your answer is false, you are correct. Because the earth's surface is always changing. Diba? Uh, ang sabi nga, there's no permanent in this world except for change. So, maging ang earth's surface din po ay nagbabago. Uh, maaaring hindi siya sa mabilis na paraan, pero nagbabago po ito. So, ayan. Tignan niyo po yung example. From here, 1890... Dumaan ang 1910 hanggang mag-1920 and until 1970. From here, naging ganito na lang siya. So, makaka-observe ka agad siya ng changes. Now, let us define what is weathering. Weathering is the breaking down or crumbling of rocks. This process changes the size, form, or shape of the rocks. Weathering may either be a mechanical or chemical process. So, let us differentiate the two. When we say mechanical process, meaning to say it breaks down rocks without changing their composition. Only the size, form, or shape of the rock are changed by mechanical weathering. Although sabihin natin na mayroong pagbabago kay mechanical process or kay mechanical weathering, pero ang nagbabago lamang po rito ay ang kanyang size, form, or yung mismong shape. It is caused by exposure to constant temperature changes, wind, water, ice, plants, animals, and human activities. And also, Mechanical weathering is also known as the physical weathering. So, para lang siyang yung physical change. Diba? Meron tayong physical and chemical change. So, like physical change, kapag ka-physical, nagbabago nga rin po siya sa size, form, or shape. And tulad ng sabi ko kanina, ang effects po nito will observe after a long time. Hindi po siya agad-agad makikita. Ito po yung mga examples ng activities na nagkakos ng weathering. Una, when rocks in rivers or on beaches constantly move because of the current of the water, their sharp edges and corners wear away and become rounded. So, as you can see, from sharp edges, dahil nababad siya sa water, it becomes rounded. So, doon pa lang nabago yung kanyang shape. Next, plants grow in rocky places. Their roots break rocks apart as they grow and move to reach their water source. So, halimbawa natin dito mayroong bato, then itong bato mayroon siyang konting siwang na doon nagsimula ang paghihiwalay ng bato dahil may uh, pumunta or dahil may tumubo na isang ugat. Next, maging ang animals po ay nagiging dahilan ng weathering. Bakit? Because animals search for food on the ground and they hit rocks when they do so. Halimbawa natin, yung mga aso, yung mga pusa, yung mga manok, although sabihin natin na maliliit lang sila, pero still, once na sila ay magkahig, naiiba yung formation ng ating rocks. Next, tayo rin pong humans nagiging dahilan ng weathering dahil humans construct roads, buildings, and practice farming and mining. And lastly, children playing with rocks. Lalo mga bata ngayon, gustong gusto nila, pinupukpok nila yung mga bato at kung ano-ano pa po ang ginagawa sa bato. So, here are some examples. Water causes weathering. The next one, wind causes weathering. After knowing what is mechanical weathering, let us now proceed on chemical weathering. 
This type of weathering happens when rocks break into smaller pieces and their composition changes in the process. Water, acids, and bases are agents of chemical change. Kanina po, yung agents natin sa mechanical weathering ay yung mga animals, children, humans, plants, and etc. Pero po, kay chemical weathering, ang ating agents ay ang water, acids and bases, and also the oxygen. Compare po natin si mechanical kay chemical. Una, ang kanya pong similarity, parehas po sila na nagbe-breakdown or nabe-break ang rocks into smaller pieces. Pero, ang kanila naman pong pinagkaiba, Kapag ka po mechanical weathering, mayroong changes pero nag-change lang yung form, yung shape o kaya yung size. Pero dito kay chemical weathering, nagbabago yung mismong composition ng kanyang bato. Here are some example. Water in nature is rarely pure. So, si water po ay pure lang talaga siya. However, Air and water pollution can make the water acidic or basic. So, let us define now the sediments. Sediments, these are the smaller pieces of rocks that are formed because of the different types of weathering. So, meaning to say, yung mga bato na nabiyak, yun po'y tinatawag nating sediments. Ngayon, these sediments are further broken down into finer particles. So, yung sediments na durog pa siya ng nadurog into finer particles at yung finer particles na po natin ay tinatawag na po nating soil. So, kapag tinanong saan galing si soil, ang sagot po natin ay sa rocks. Sa paanong paraan? Because of weathering, yung mga rocks will break down into smaller pieces. Ang tawag po doon sediments. Ngayon, itong sediments magbe-break down ulit siya into finer particles at ang tawag na po natin doon ay soil. Thank you pupils for listening and I hope that you already know what is weathering and you can easily differentiate mechanical weathering from chemical weathering.